house tour. This is what the outside looks like. Two old ass pianos. No idea what that is. A clock that doesn't work anymore. Switches that actually work. No idea what this is. I do not like that sound. This hilarious sticker in a room with this. And this place didn't have Wi-Fi until two months ago. So this is my first trip here with Wi-Fi. Stairs that are as old as us. Another bathroom. One of these sewing machine things. And this is where I sleep. Oh, the aircon. It is undoubtedly so that this house is old. But I ask you this question. Is this house of luxury? Is this house luxurious? To me, no. No way. This house is old, it's not what I grew up in, it's not you know, what I know. And most of all, this place only had Wi-Fi two months ago. But to my grandfather, the owner of this house, to him, yeah, why not? This house is luxury because of his past experiences. He was born and raised in a single room on the second floor of a shop house. His whole family crammed into a tiny space. One can only imagine the, the jump, the gap between those two living standards and experiences. Yeah, of course you would say this place is luxurious. But that's not all. He was young enough all whole enough right now, to experience the Japanese occupation, to experience World War II. And suddenly, going through all that, going through such hardships and hell, makes normal, special, different, enhanced in such a way that everything becomes of privilege, of luxury. So yeah. Why is there such a different gap? Why is there such a different understanding and experience or take on what luxury is? Lambert Weising, in his book A Philosophy of Luxury, argues that luxury is an aesthetic experience. It means that when you consider the Mona Lisa, for example, the object, the painting, is an aesthetic object. And whatever you say, think, or do, whenever you consider the Mona Lisa, that is an aesthetic experience. It doesn't matter what the experience is, the contents of it, it just is. That means luxury is not inherently there, it's not absolutely or universally naturally occurring even. Or is it? That would mean luxury is whatever we say it is, and luxury exists wherever we say it is. When we consider something to be potentially luxurious and we decide it is, luxury suddenly exists. And that to me is unsettling. It's strange that we can conjure up something so valuable just like that. I am at a point in time where I wish I could bottle up experiences. But I can't. It is impossible. But it would be immensely convenient if that were the case. Because I could just hand you a bottle of my experience and you could 
see everything I see, do everything I do, and experience exactly what I experience. And maybe then you'll find out what luxury is. Maybe then we'll discover what luxury is.